Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> What's happening, everyone? How are we doing? How are we doing? <laughs> How are we doing, everyone? Oh, that was a good break. It was good for my legs. Good for my legs. I bro, I think I mentioned this um a little while ago. I've got something wrong with my knee. And I haven't sought like medical professional advice yet. It's uh my right knee. It's really weird. Like towards like the bottom like right side of my right knee. When I bend my knee, it's I get a sensation that's really similar to sunburn. And uh, I like I said, I haven't asked the doctor or anything. I should probably go and see a doctor. But um, I've asked around for opinions, and people seem to think it might be my cartilage, which sucks. But uh, there we go. I'm no spring chicken, right? Not anymore. Right. Um, it is 8 p.m. Uh, if I sleep, if I sleep until for 12 hours here now. Oh, before I do that, I'm thirsty. Don't forget the golden rule, okay, Andy? Never sleep thirsty or uh, hungry. That's the golden rule in survival. So I'm gonna uh, drink a purified water. There we go. Let's see how hydrated. Hydration is key. And then I'm gonna sleep for 12 hours, okay? Because that'll make it uh, 8 a.m. and it'll still be daylight outside. Um, I was gonna sleep until 6 p.m. so we could get the next part of this quest done. But uh, I think I'm going to do a couple of things around Diamond City first. I think I'm going to get uh, a couple of things around uh, Diamond City done first. And uh, we got a well-rested perk as well. Which uh, we'll cover, actually. I think it's worth mentioning. If I go into my perks, and it's listed here. Uh, when you're well-rested, you have had a great sleep and feel alert and invigorated. Plus 2 endurance, plus 2 agility, and plus 10% XP for a limited time. That's until, um, you know, you start to get tired and your well-rested wears off. Um, that's uh, really beneficial, but then there's the double-edged uh, decision that you've got to make uh, in survival mode. Is whether you want that or your adrenaline perk, uh, which you uh, accumulate uh, extra damage uh, with every kill. But that resets when you sleep. Um, also, don't forget, don't forget to change my clothes because uh, we're going to be uh, going out and doing some fighting now. Being as we've got a coward save down, uh, it's a good time to uh, put on all of my actual gear. Uh, wait, wait there. Left leg is my metal, right? Uh, that's another thing as well. i got to break down some of these uh, things that I've picked up. Uh left leg no we want to keep the metal left leg on right yeah okay cool we're good we are good right oops wrong button doc crocker huh i almost smacked him as well yeah we got all our correct gear on okay let's go out and do some uh some things outside diamond city then before i forget though <clears throat> let me break down these armor pieces that i'm uh oh flip fantastic Absolutely fantastic. Of course there's a red storm. Of course there's a red storm. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm going to have to go and wait for a couple of hours indoors now. Just so that passes. <sighs> right, let's wait two hours. That should be long enough. And hopefully as well, we can get back, we can get back in time for the rest of this quest. I also need to see the doctor. Get rid of my rads. Yep, it's clear. Okay, cool. What's this we have here? Oh, I almost forgot. I almost completely forgot about Abbott back here. Oh, I just got given uh, another uh, miscellaneous quest by overhearing something as well. Uh, if I go in here... Uh, explore the combat zone. I want to activate that, but we won't be going to visit that until, well, not for a long time. Right, Abbott. Don't touch the paint. I won't. Don't worry, I won't. It's okay, Abbott. I forgot to change my glasses as well. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Reckon you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Yes. Happy to help out. 
You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How does that sound? Yeah, that sounds great. Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Cool. Oh, and there we go. Uh, every, um, every, like, step you get, uh, a certain way towards their max affinity, uh, they'll unlock some dialogue. So we're at the first stage with Piper already. Um, yeah, I tried to be. I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean... Look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Uh, must be exhausting. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> the night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid some institute drone will decide. Today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, Claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. You saved those people. You saved those people? No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get... Fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know. So I get it, Piper. Should we head out? Let's go. Right. So that's the first stage towards getting uh, her um, perk as well. Uh, like I say, every time you uh, hit a uh, land uh, landmark in uh, their affinity, um, they will open up uh, part of their dialogue and uh, finally maybe give you like a, a task to do or um, some uh, quest to complete. And then uh, eventually, when you're at max affinity and you've completed their quest line, uh, they will actually give you a perk. Uh, some are completely useless. Uh, some of them are really strong though. Some of them are really, really strong. Where's the doctor? Here we are. Doctor. doctor. Have I got enough caps for this? I spent all my caps on that you gun, didn't I? Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a Facial reconstructive services. Facial reconstruction? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Um, cure me. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? Uh, kill my rads. 40 caps. Too much radiation. It's still better than using a rad away, though. Rad away really fucks you up in this game. Really, really badly. 
It's really, really debilitating. And you want to avoid using right away as much as possible. Any other complaints? Um, I'd like to barter with you as well. No, more done. I like how survival gives like doctors in towns a real purpose because be prior to um, this is in the previous uh, Fallout games as well. Prior to survival mode, there's really no point to a doctor. You know, when you could just spam Stimpak or um, whatever. Uh, this, even though it's still cheap as well, there's still no point to it. Oh, I just remembered something. Antibiotics, that's what I was looking for. And I can afford them as well. Cool. Um, I need to find somewhere that sells Nuka-Cola. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact... As a matter of fact, I can wait until we've done uh, something else. But uh, I need to get some Nuka-Cola from somewhere. I drank my last one, stupidly, forgetting uh, that I was going to need it. We've just got another radio signal as well. Let's have a listen to that. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Is it back? No, it's gone. Okay, never mind. And, uh... Wait a second. Over one. Is that cr Oh my god! Cricket, now you're here! Now you're here. Right, being as you're here, Cricket. I'm not going to be able to pick it up, but... I'll show you uh, what I will want eventually. Unless we get really, really lucky and we find something uh, similar or better. Um, where is it? She is guaranteed to have this gun. Spray and pray. Now, uh, bullets explode on impact doing 15 points extra, uh, sorry, 15 points area effect damage. It says 15 points there. Um, the expl It's got the explosive prefix on it. Now, explosive on a rapid fire weapon like this is so overpowered. There's uh, That was actually the best gun in the game until uh, uh, Far Harbor. And Far Harbor introduced uh, an even more powerful uh, variant in a way. Now, if you spec into Commando, which is uh, rapid fire rifles, um, and you spec into Demolition Expert, the 25% extra, then 50% extra, 75% extra, that counts for the prefix on that weapon. So that will increase the power of the explosive uh, effect on that weapon. It just becomes ridiculously powerful, the most powerful gun in the game. Until uh, you get access to the radium rifle in uh, Far Harbor, which is more or less the same uh, thing, but it's a different, different, more powerful rapid fire weapon. And uh, you better believe that's the way I'm going to be going eventually with my uh, with my spec in. Right. Okay. Now, first things first. Okay. Uh, I want to take my new home, which is uh, going to be down here. Uh, there's quite a few raiders in here though, so it can be quite tricky. But uh, we want to take Handman's Alley as soon as possible. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any, but if you have any grenades, you can toss them over. Okay, and uh, blow them up from afar. Okay, this isn't a great start, not gonna lie. Okay, we got a level, that's nice. Okay, all right, we're fine. We're in danger, but hopefully that'll uh, pass before they come out of this door. This door is always locked. You've got to lockpick this door. Okay, we're in caution. Oh, man, come back. I was having fun. I'm gonna wait until I'm hidden on this occasion before I pick this lock. Come on out. I'll make it nice and quick. Shh. You can trust me. They're about to lose interest. No there we go. Now. Hidden. Right now we can crack this open. Oh. Dang it. Piper also likes it when you uh, pick locks as well. 
So uh, her affinity went up for that. Cool. Close the door. I think these guys might have Molotovs of their own. So you have to be really, really careful. We all know what Molotovs can do to us. This, these guys are really dumb. Because <laughs> they're going to lose interest again pretty soon. Piper's ready. Remember, um, if Piper goes down as well, we need to heal her. Otherwise, she'll uh, get annoyed by that and she'll refuse to work with us for a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my critical. Arguably, it's a waste, but still. There's another guy. Oh, there he is. Dang it. Oh, there's another two guys. Luckily, none of them were... I took some hits there. That's fine, though. Luckily, none of them were legendary. Right, I'll take the vats, just to be on the safe side. Right, he's down. One more, I think. I think he's the last guy. Shoot him in his ass. Right, are we safe? I think we're safe. Well, that went... Quite well. Um, ooh. Cushion stick? Oh, that's on the left, right? Yeah, that's only better for energy resistance. That's fine. I don't want that. That's uh, not how a head works, sir. Your head's just floating in the air. Okay. Uh, 45s I'm collecting. For that reason as well, the reason that I just mentioned, which was <gasps> pocketed. Oh yeah, hell yeah, take that. Uh, which was for the spray and pray. So when I can afford that weapon, uh, it takes 45s. Ooh, I just got nothing, another pocketed. I also forgot to uh, break down the armor that I'm not using as well. What's on my left arm at the moment? Apparently something that's not as good anyway. So let's pop, pop that on. 10 millimeter rounds I'll take. Ooh, that's got some nice stuff on it that we can pull off and put on our, our own uh, 10 millimeter. Until we can um, get some perks, we're going to be looking for uh, mods on weapons just as much as we're going to be looking for weapons as well. Uh, I just remembered as well, I bought Old Faithful and I didn't use it. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, now, this is going to eventually turn into my main base. Um, this is the best base to have for uh, for survival because it's nice and central. Diamond City is just around the corner as well. It's uh, a very good place to uh, to be. Um, food. I was hungry. That's right. Um, I'm gonna eat my last mole rat chunks and oh god, ribeye probably would have done it on its own, but never mind. What's done is done. I mean that. Okay, this is my settlement now. Fantastic. All I need to do is, uh, where are we going to set up? Our, for, for the time being, okay, I'm going to set up my room in here. Uh, but that's in t just until we start building proper. Uh, give me a proper bed. I can't build one. Brilliant. Fine, that'll have to do for the time being then. No, don't want to store that. Right, we'll do our old uh, trick with not passing time by jumping out straight away. Right leg, huh? I think that might be a little bit better, so let's take that. Okay, um, unfortunately, this doesn't come with an armor or workbench. Uh, there's very little, uh, like I said earlier, there's very little settlements that actually come with the work, all the workbenches. So we're going to need to invest in some uh, charisma perks at some point. Um, so that we can, uh, so that we can, uh, have, uh, all, uh, all of our needs all in our, our main base. Now, um, automatic, dang it, that's no good. Uh, long light barrel. Can I not put on, I can't put on a standard barrel. Dang, I think I need, I need adhesive just to do that. I was hoping to take that and the muzzle off of this. Oh, I can do it here for no cost. 
And then if I go over to my uh, handgun, I can put the muzzle on there. Compensator. Uh, gives me extra accuracy, less range. Uh, and it's a little more heavy, but I'll put it on anyway. That's fine. Um, what does the other muzzle do? Uh, what is it? Long light barrel? I think I've got a better one. Yeah, I've got a better one anyway. Okay. It's fine. It's worth it just for, uh, just for the, uh, the muzzle, I guess. Can I do anything to you? I haven't got any adhesive on me, so I can't do anything to you. Ooh, why am I carrying this around? Quick eject mag, maybe? Oh, we've already... We've already got everything that this has to offer. So scrap that as well. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what I'm going to do as well, before I forget about it again completely, I'm going to put my old faithful. Uh, let's favorite that. Put it on up. So that's going to be a really useful weapon. Um, I can also dump some stuff here as well to get my weight down. So let's uh, transfer uh, all of this junk. Cool. Uh, what have we got in terms of aid? Buff out can go in. Uh, why am I carrying that? Mew fruit can go in. I needed that for sanctuary, didn't I? They would have grown one by now anyway. That's fine. Tarberry can go in. There we go. Job's good. Un. Right. So, if I... Uh, do we drop a save? I can't remember. I'm going to do it again just in case. There we go. Now that it's... Uh, coward save in hand. Okay. This is going to end up being our main home. But... Not just yet. I'm going to go over and do this quest for Oberlin Station uh, first. Just because it's just around the corner. How are we doing for time? Because uh, remember, we need to... Uh... Oh, we've still got like three hours before uh, we're due to uh, go back to the uh, dugout in for Travis. But in the meantime, if I can do this now, I can turn this in uh, on the way to doing something else. There's Backstreet Apparel down there, I believe. It's not too far away at all. So if we clear this out of Raiders, um, this is the request we've been asked to do by Oberlin Station. Here we are. Right, now, this place has got some turret guns on it. I'm going to use Old Faithful, in fact, because uh, double damage if they're full health. I've not got a great shot there. They're going to come running around the corner as well. And there's another turret gun behind this guy. Here we go. Melee guy comes running in. Um, I'll take the 50-50. That's only going to go up because he's going to keep running closer and closer. Nice. Double damage headshot there coming clutch. Bite that. Be careful. Oh, this, this thing's tough. It's going down there. There we go. That should be the uh, outside clear. And then there's uh, just whatever's inside to deal with. I'll take the leather. We can be a, a bit more uh, relaxed about what we pick up now uh, at the moment as well. Because we've got a home base to dump things in. Still not going to pick up ammo that I don't want though. Right, where did the uh, where did the other guy go? Why have corpses been disappearing today? That's what I want to know. All right, whatever. Ooh, Trinity Tower. We can actually listen to that now. Help or mayday or whatever it is one says on a radio. My name is Rex Goodman. I'm being held prisoner on the top of Trinity Tower. I think the super mutants plan on eating me soon. I'm sending this to repeat. Oh shit! Gotta sign off. One of the super mutants is coming. Help! Or there we go. And that gets us uh, another quest as well. Uh, I won't be rushing over to do that anytime soon, though. Um, right, let's let's use our level as well before I forget completely, because uh, I tend to do that. 
Um, what should we pick? Um, let's see now. Uh, I've obviously given the game away with uh, Commando and uh, Demolition Expert. I'm going to be specking into them um, at some point because I want to pick up uh, Spray and uh, Prey or something better, preferably if we can if we get lucky. Um, we could take armor. Armor would be useful. We could um, let we could start modding our uh, our modular um, armor. Um, Hmm. Ooh, local leader as well. As rule, as the ruler, everyone turns to you. You are able to establish supply lines between your workshop settlements. I'm going to need to get that relatively soon, actually. Relatively. So I can start linking my settlements together. Uh, I'll also need part two as well, or the second rank, sorry. Uh, just so I can build work uh, workshops in my, uh, in my uh, settlements. That's something I'm going to need. Um, I want something really that's going to make me more powerful immediately. Um, I would take Demolition Expert, but we haven't really got any throwables at the moment. The only thing we've got is Frag Mines. We're close to getting Gunslinger. That's going to open up at level 15. Oh dang, what to take, what to take. I don't think there's really anything that's going to be uh, making us more powerful immediately, just this second. I could take Mysterious Stranger. So I did say I was going to take a perk of that at some point. Um, uh, oh god. Could start getting sneak up in the right direction. That would actually be really handy now as well. I want to get this is um basically uh where is it? Running no longer effects uh, stealth. No longer trigger enemy mines. I want that, especially in survival. Mines are gonna kill you if you step on them. That one there, level three of sneak, is basically the old light step. So the sooner we get to that, the better, really. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take sneak. Uh, it'll be really useful immediately as well, because we're going to be doing sneaking inside here. When we wipe out these uh, these raiders. I've been spied. There you are, you little bitch. Oh, they're over there. I'll take the 50 50. Nice. Still in one piece. We're still in danger, Piper. Don't let your guard down. I think we're okay as long as we're in this room. I think we're in danger from uh, raiders elsewhere. Uh, so they won't come out here, I don't think. Um, also, I can get some free grenades. Nice. Uh, which I'm going to equip right now. Weapons. Uh, fragmentation grenades. I actually have two. That's nice. Right, what have you got on you? Pocketed. What have I got on my right arm right now? I need to start breaking some of this stuff down. <gasps> I just got leather. Oh my god. I'm being blessed with the pocketed. That's a mod that basically gives you extra carry weight, so I'll be taking that. Uh, where is it? Pocketed. Look, we've got three pieces of pocketed without making our room. That's brilliant. Oops, I put it away. I thought I was equipping it. Uh, right. Apparel. Pocketed. I'm going to start dropping these. Um, just because I forgot to break them down and I want the carry weight, so drop them. Um, cushioned. Left leg, and what's right leg? What have we got on our right leg? Pocketed. What's on our left leg? Lightweight metal. What was it, left leg? Uh, I'm going to drop these two. I don't need those. 
Plus, it gets confusing when I put re reapply in my armor, so I just drop all them on the floor. Leaving a bit of uh, money and resources on the floor there, quite literally, but it's fine. Ooh, bowler hat! I need that. That's really, really important. That's really, really important item. I'll explain myself uh, later on. You can get um, quite a few nice pieces of apparel in this place. Like, if you don't have fashionable glasses yet to boost your charisma, you can get them here. This is a, a pre-war clothes shop, so it makes sense that they would have some uh, some clothing items. Uh, Trilby is not what I'm... Shit, I forgot about that uh, turret gun there. Right. Uh, what I'm after as well, if I ever come across a battered fedora... Uh, basically the best hat in the game. So if I ever see one of them, I'm going to want to pick it up and keep it. And uh, again, I'll explain uh, why that gets so good later on. Okay, we're back into caution. That turret gun is down. With these sorts of radiant quests where you've been asked to clear out a specific area of say raiders ghouls etc you only need to kill the one i'm leaving that molotov screw that molotov you only need to ki kill the main one and the uh, game considers the quest done and uh that one there in that room with a marker above their head is the one in question so as soon as we kill her the game is considering the uh the quest done she's just in here Oh, there's two of them. Clutch. They're named as well on this occasion. Nice sneak attack in the head. And we've built up our critical again as well. Nice. See, now the um, quest is considered uh, done. But there's still enemies uh, around the area. Um, I'm going to be going upstairs. Okay, because uh, there's uh, some stuff that I want up there as well. Jetta make you jittery. Oh. Sweet. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, give me that desk fan. Desk fans full of screws. And screws, uh, you, you're going to have a shortage of screws early on. Unfortunately. That's advanced? I can't open that. So is that, dang it. Not smart enough. Uh, hunting... Ooh. What's this chest piece like? Better defense. What's my chest piece? Girded leather. 715. I mean, oh, I... The main reason I don't want to take this is because it's ugly. I'm going to leave it there. I don't want it. Carlisle typewriter. I give you a little tiny bit extra resources. Um, which is nice. That's the difference between Carlisle and, and regular. Right, we're going to head upstairs. Uh, technically, we could just leave right now. But uh, I do want to get upstairs and get, uh, get something in particular. I think, anyway, if my memory's correct... There is something up here that we do want. Not hugely important, but it's nice to have. Hello! Oh, shit. He spotted me. Okay, I'll take the 50-50 on the head. Oh, God. Come on, this is dreadful. Dreadful. Oh, the other guy's a melee guy. So, he's not too much of a problem. He's just going to run in like a lunatic. Um, I'm also going to heal. Because I think that uh, health that I've lost there... I think that's been gone since I cured my... Uh, my rads. So that was dumb. That was dumb. I've been running around with nearly 50% of my health not healed. And on survival as well, where you heal over time. That's dumb. That's a really... Ooh, a noodle, noodle cup. Useful. Take your lighter as well, mate. We're in caution. We're very much in caution right now. Can I get a shot through the wall? I don't think so. Right, okay, back into hidden. 
Oh, hello, sir. Take the 50-50 and then just the rest in the body. Oh, nice. It, it worked. And that was a sneak attack as well. Even though uh, he was about to spot us, he was still hidden. Okay, I think we're clear. I think we're clear. Um, right, I don't think you've got anything of interest on you. Uh, give me that. The broken lamp, why not? We could drop an auto save here as well if we wanted to. Ah, here we are. Oh, it's a grognak! Perfect. Another flipping grognak! If we were a melee character right now, that would be fantastic. This is master locked, we've got no chance of opening that. Pack of duct tape? Hell yeah! That's all the adhesive. A uh, little bit of aluminium as well. Aluminium, you want to pick up aluminium whenever you. Uh, Whenever you find aluminium. Um, right. Fashion over function. <laughs> Absolutely, right? Fashion souls. Fashion souls is the golden rule. Right. I could go up onto the uh, roof, but I don't think there's really anything out there. By the way, as well, I just thought of something. If you're um, really confused by me saying aluminium, um, then you're probably from the States. Because uh, you guys say it wrong. You say aluminum, uh, which is completely wrong. It's called aluminium. That's the correct uh, word for, for aluminium. Just saying. Just FYI. And also, you're welcome for teaching you the correct way to say aluminium. Okay, I think we're done with this place now, for the most part. It's a shame we can't get in our master lock safe, but it was like I said a while back. Um, lock picking in Fallout 4 is not really as beneficial as it used to be in the older games. It's usually just connected to um, generic loot most of the time. Like 90% of the time it'll just be generic loot that'll get you for lock picking something. Uh, whereas back in the day it was far more interesting. It could result in an ulterior um, direction or a way around things. It could, it could open up um, uh, uh, a new... Uh, solution to to something uh whereas nowadays uh it, nine times out of ten is just uh a safe with generic loot will spawn into right what's the time are we uh close to 6 p.m oh we are if we go back to the dugout in right now we can carry on with uh, confidence, man. Oh, well, this has gone swimmingly. We've got our new home. Successfully took that off the raiders. Uh, I think we just drew the attention of some super mutants then, but we're fine. No, None of them shot at us. Ooh, get the latest issue of public occurrences as well. Excellent. I really got to sort out my um, endurance so I can sprint for longer. Because uh, agility in this game is tied to your max uh, action points. Um, so technically putting your agility up will allow you to uh, sprint for longer as well. But endurance actually lets you it lets you sprint for longer. It um, it, your action points will run out slower with higher endurance. Hello, Nat. Selling papers is busy work, lady. Okay, I would like my free copy of Public Nat. Appearances, please. Hey, lady. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Awesome. View from the Vault. Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. Let's have a read of that. I'm intrigued because of uh, the answers that we gave. I'm wondering if it actually um, it actually changes anything. Uh, view from the Vault. Part 1. Here we go. View from the Vault. Part 1 by Piper Wright. Whenever I take a walk through Diamond City... There are so many things people tell me to be grateful for. Purified water, working lights, electricity, 
security. True. What we have would have been unthinkable even a few decades ago. But it's easy to forget that even after all the progress we have made, we are still living in the shadow of the world that was. A world before the threat of radiation. Before the super mutant and feral ghoul and the synth. So, as fortune often has it, I cross paths... Pa <laughs> I forgot what I called our character. I cross paths with boobies! <laughs> Vault Dweller, a person who is experiencing the Commonwealth for the first time. What... <coughs> pardon me. Uh, what would hers... Huh? What would hers fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Does that actually make sense? What would hers fresh... Her, right? They shouldn't say hers. What would her fresh set of eyes say about how far we've come? Piper, I thought you were a bloody journalist. Uh, anyway, uh, is Diamond City the great green jewel we have always claimed to be? Before we begin to answer that question, we have to know who Boobies is. Where she comes from. Where she began our interview, joking about her time in the vault. It was just me and a thousand guinea pigs. They turned carnivorous, of course. This reporter knows that le life behind the sealed doors of a vault tech facility is actually supposed to be a bastion of the old world. Uh, a preservation of life before the bombs. Continued in part two. Okay, let's read part two. <laughs> Piper is very lucky. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Continued from part one. So what does Boobies have to say about seeing Diamond City for the first time? I've been having too much fun blowing things up to think about it. It's important to note that Boobies <laughs> was not actually blowing things up at the time. Uh, <laughs> boobies weren't blowing things up. Uh, and that perhaps she was refer <laughs> referencing the violence that is all too common when you're traveling outside the wall of uh, the more dangerous part of the Commonwealth. How curious, though, that her first reaction to the horrors and tragedies out there would be humor. You see, Boobies has a son, Sean, and even though they were in the relative safety of a vault, someone broke in and took Sean from his parent. And that parent is now risking everything wandering through this strange and unfit, um, unfriendly world of ours in order to save Sean from his kidnappers. We all know the rumors and whispers that surrounded every missing person in Diamond City. Uh, the guilty looks we pass to mourning family members as we thank the wall that this time it wasn't us. You can end up dead in the Commonwealth for a million reasons. Why spend our time worrying about kidnappings? Why indeed? Continued in part three. Uh, part three. Um, it's easy for us to be cynical about the missing. We have spent so long knowing the Institute is out there, but understanding so little about them, they are not the only ones responsible for kidnappings. But the fact that they sometimes are... As, sorry, just remembered our name again. Uh, sometimes are, and the fact that we have been so powerless to stop them when they do cause us to... Uh, to cause us to threat all victims of kidnapping as if they are lost cause. Uh, but the people left behind, those loved ones, friends, neighbors, who may never see their faces of their taken from them again. Oh, hang on. Who may never see the faces of those taken from them ever again. Uh, they do not have the luxury of being able to just look away. They have to carry that lost with them, even if everyone else tells them to move on and forget. I asked Boobies to make a statement to Diamond City to give us an outsider's perspective on what it means to lose a loved one and how how he feels excuse me Piper anyway uh, maybe in some way it's uh, how we all should feel maybe we've forgotten uh, what the right human response to those tragedies are uh, find who's responsible and make them pay she said simple as that the end so it does actually affect the article. That's cool. Oh, wrong way. We want to go to the dugout in, right? In we go. Oh, before we go in, we got to change to uh, our uh, charisma gear as well. Um, apparel, because I think I think there might be a um, I think there might be a speech check. There probably isn't, but there's a slim chance that there might be. So let's put our apparel on. Look, I don't want any trouble. Maybe I don't like your little radio program. What the hey there, pal. Oh, that? it's you. 
Um, everything okay? Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Uh, let's do something. Let's do something about this then. No, no, I... I that might end badly. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, could, it could turn violent. I got your back. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Piper like that as well. Right behind you. Okay, that's... Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... Just a second. I'm only parched. That's good. I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Uh, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Go on, Travis. So, I was thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you going to say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up. <laughs> Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you. And Watch out for his homie as well. This is such a bad idea. Oh god, they come straight for me! They come straight for me! Oh, my arm's broken. Okay, this might I'm it might not have been so good putting my dress back on. Putting my dress on might not, not have been a good idea. Can I can I vat? I can vats. Right, critical this bitch. Sit down. Okay, my arm's broken. I'm gonna heal. I'm thirsty. That's fine. Ah, oh, God, my jaw. Uh, just drink a bit of water before. Uh... There we go. I really, I really, really fucked up this mate though. This is not. Travis, well done, buddy. You beat him up on. I think Piper got involved as well, though. Hi. There. Hello. Travis. Whoa. I can't believe it. We did it. Uh, I knew you could. I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Travis, you suck. Right now, you suck. Anyway. Really? I, I can't thank you enough. Alright, cool. Talk to Vadim. Hey. <laughs> I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for See that sweet right hook I give his homie in in vats when I use my critical. Uh, bring it on. Bring it on. Good attitude. It's nice indeed. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple about it. But I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Okay. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis. And this will all be worth it. And you and I... Never talked about this, all right? Cool, all right. Uh, convince Scarlet. Where is, she's usually outside at this point, I think. She was over in the corner over there. You can actually see her working. This guy's sus as well. Be, be, be very sus of this guy, Doc Crocker. He's the guy who does the facial reconstruction. Uh, Raiders in Andrew Station. I've never seen this note on this wall. Open notice to anyone with a gun and some ambition. Radar activity is on the rise near Andrew Station. They have money, gear, supplies, everything stolen from honest, hard-working people. Keep what you kill. Uh, what? Keep what you kill. Uh, no other reward given. Alright, cool. That's going to update my map, map marker. and Alright, if that's going to stay on the floor, I guess I'll pick it up. Alright, cool. I've never seen that note before. Never ever. Um, is everything active? No. Activate everything. Well, oh, god damn it, Fallout. Cool. All 
Alright, we're good. I've never ever seen that note before. It's given it's given us um not only just updated our map, uh with the marker, it's also uh given us a miscellaneous task to do as well. Where's Scarlet? She's out here somewhere, I'm sure. Hey, you were the paper, right? Hey Shen, what's up kid? Ah, Scarlet, there you are. What up, girl? Miss, I'm on a break right now. Uh, Travis. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about Travis, if you have a moment. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Oh, she likes him. She, she already likes Travis. Um, yes, he was. Yeah, absolutely. You should really pay him a visit. You think? I mean, I definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Um, persuade. Don't threaten or bribe, because uh, Piper won't like that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Okay, this time we got to report back to Yefem, which is uh, Vadim's brother. So I think, I think now we're uh, already in the final stages of uh, this quest. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Hey, Yefem, this is terrible. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. Yo, 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 what's happening? You fiend, take it easy. Explain what's going on, buddy. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. They took him. They took Vadim. Those men, the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He wouldn't pay, and then they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Uh, I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back, Yafim. Count on it. Please, just bring him back. He's an idiot, but he's my brother. I'd go with you, but someone has to stay here. Talk to Travis. Maybe he knows where they took him. Cool. Alright, so let's go and talk to Travis. Oh dang, I just remembered something again. I need a new Coca-Cola from somewhere. Hmm. Okay, I should I should hopefully be able to buy one. Dang it, I could have bought one from Vadim, right? He might have he would be the most uh, likely person to have it in stock. There's one right there. There's one right there. But if I steal it, Piper won't be happy about that. Yes. Oh, you don't... You've got a Nuka cola right there, buddy. Why are you not selling it? Huh? Why are you not selling it? Dang it. It's a, I, I totally forgot that I needed it, and I drank it on the way to Diamond City. And it was dumb, because I needed it for while when I got here. Never mind, it's fine. It's fine, we'll pick one up somewhere. Uh, where's Travis? I think he's down here. I think his radio, uh, his house and his radio station is down here somewhere. <sighs> ah, here we are. Oh, Shen. Maybe Shen will sell some. Investigate the Museum of Witchcraft. Every now and then you, like, you overhear people say stuff. And, uh, it'll just pop up as a uh, little task in your, in, in your quest log. I'm not sure I'm a fan, because you can easily miss what they say, you know, if you're walking by. I need your help, buddy. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That is not funny. Uh, this is serious. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... 
this is because of what happened, isn't it? It's, it's my fault. That's not your fault. No, Travis. This is between. between Bless him. He thinks it's his fault because he beat a fault. bull. But if I hadn't gotten into that or he fight, thinks he beat a bull. Don't do that to yourself. All we can do now. Piper like that? I wasn't paying attention. Look, I don't. I don't really. I mean. Yeah, Piper like that. I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. Agree. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't. I'm tired I from lack of sleep? Didn't I, I just sleep? To know oh no, wait. We haven't slept since um, clearing out um, Hangman's go Alley and uh, Backstreet Apparel, have we? And then we can bring it's probably a good idea to get some sleep now then. Will be okay. Right. Just to get a save, I'll, if nothing else. I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. Cool. All right. So uh, he's gonna wait for us at Beantown Brewery. We actually passed uh, Beantown Brewery on the way. It's right by the bridge that we passed on the way to Oberlin Station. Right. I'm gonna get some rest in the dugout in, and hopefully I can get hold of a, um, a Nuka Cola in the daytime as well when everyone's open. Pardon me, sorry. And there is a good reason for getting hold of a Nuka Cola. It just completely slipped my mind. I do this every playthrough as well, and uh, I can't believe I forgot this one time. I need Vadim. Ah, uh, dude. Yafin. Tell me if you need a room. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Banana, what's up, dude? Last minute, hello. I uh, hope you're okay, my dude. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. How are you doing, Banana? Happy Big Friday. I'm guessing you just finished work. I'm guessing you only just finished work. But in which case, though, oh, happy yeah. big weekend, oh, buddy. Something? Happy big weekend. All right. Here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. How was today? I hope, uh, hope uh, you had a good day today. I know you've been uh, real busy lately. Hey, get out of my room, you. Ever been up in the stands? Let's just say oh, don't go to sleep thirsty. Remember the golden rule. Uh, purified water. Properly hydrated. There we go. And um, we'll sleep. Uh, we'll sleep for 10 hours. Everything should be open then. Uh, how did you know? <laughs> because you're always working too hard, buddy. You're always working too hard. That's how I know. You need to uh, you need to relax a bit. You need to relax a bit. But it's the weekend now, right? Happy big weekend, dude. You can relax a bit now. Right, where am I gonna get a Nuka Cola from? That's the question. I'm guessing. See, the Deem isn't in the dugout in, and if anyone was gonna sell any, it would be him, right? But uh, maybe Shen. Where's Shen? That little kid um, who sells water. Perhaps he also sells a Nuka Cola. You never know. He seems like a sharp kid, you know. Businessman at his age. What? Even though I'm a doctor. I admit I Even though I'm a doctor. Yeah, don't trust uh, Crockett. Right, Shen, I need your help, buddy. I see you've got Nuka Cola back there. Let's see what you got. Just today. You better. St you only sell purified water. That's gonna be stealing as well, right? It's stealing. Fuck. Where else can I get a Nuka Cola from? I mean, maybe we'll have to get Vadim back. If we get Vadim back and buy one off him, or we could get lucky and find one, maybe. I can't believe I drank that Nuka Cola I was holding on to. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. This guy, does, this guy's got Nuka Cola right there as well, and won't sell it because he's a jerk. I know this is a bit of a long shot going to the drug dealer, but you never know. You never know. Come on, buddy. Nuka Cola, buddy. He's got purified water. No Nuka Cola though. Fuck! The doctor's not gonna sell Nuka Cola. Excuse me, Dr. Sun? It's 
I might have even missed my opportunity now, because... No, there he is. It's fine. It's fine. Guys, anyone, anyone want to sell me a Nuka-Cola? There's Nuka-Cola everywhere as well. It's just I don't want to steal it, because Piper won't like it. Unbelievable. Right, okay, I'm just going to have to go and pick one up in the wild then, I guess. I'm failing that. Like I say, Vadim might sell one. Oh, I'm still wearing my Charisma gear as well. Uh, but yeah, I won't have a Saturday off. I'll try to get Sunday off. Oh, no way. I'm sorry, dude. Here's me going, oh, it's big weekend. It's big weekend. I didn't even realize you were in work tomorrow. My bad. Um, pocketed, Minutemen, lightweight, eyeglasses. There we go. We're set. Uh, your character got some first class fashion. I was in my um, was in my charisma getup, cause uh, with all that, uh, with that dress, that hat, and those glasses, my charisma's at ten. So uh, that that's uh, I'll show you her look actually when she's in a, a regular gear. That's what she looks like. I got the Minutemen outfit. I haven't really found uh, some like really good uh, modular armor as of yet. But we've been quite lucky. I've got three pocketed pieces without even modifying my own gear. So that's pretty lucky. And I've got the um, the Sea Captain's hat because one, it's cool. And two, it's got plus two endurance. Which at this point in the game is really good. Until uh, later on. Which I won't uh, go into until later. But yeah. <laughs> Glad you like it. Glad you like it. Right, okay. Now, what we're going to be doing um, now, pretty much, is making our way uh, back the way we came, more or less, uh, past Oberland Station, because uh, we could turn in a quest there as well. Uh, we could turn in a quest where um, we cleared out Backstreet Apparel, and that will become our settlement as well. And um, either my next level or the level after that, I'm going to take local leader so I can start linking uh, my settlements together. Right, this is where I want to start sneaking as well, because more often than not, there's trouble around this area. More often than not. This is a place where... There's almost guaranteed to be trouble. Oh, there's Cricket. On this occasion, no then, because Cricket's here. That's nice. It'd be really nice if someone had a Nuka-Cola on their person. I wonder if there's any in here. I doubt it. Bottle caps, though. I'll take bottle caps. I doubt there's a Nuka Cola in here. But you know, you can always uh, you can always hope. Oh, corn! I'm actually going to take some of this because it's pretty uh, pretty useful. Carrots can be useful for uh, chem crafting. Day tripper. I'll take that. Oh, <gasps> Nuka Cola! Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll crack this open because why not? I think there's rads in here, though. I think it's radi radioactive in here. But uh, I'm going to want to uh, crack locks open as often as possible while I'm with Piper. Because she likes that type of thing. Right, I'm going to quickly just run back to Diamond City as well. Because uh, there's a couple of other things in Diamond City I can pick up uh, right now that'll be useful. And now that I've got this Nuka-Cola, I can do what I wanted to do in the first place. So your charisma is 10 when your character got the whole face covered. That's saying something. Oh, um, no, that's, um, the bandana is nothing to do with uh, the charisma. I'm just wearing that. I mean, they do cover up her face, right? Maybe I should not wear it. It's not doing anything. Uh, where is it? Um, red bandana. It literally does nothing. It's just got 0.1 weight. If I take that off. Yeah, the bandana is just there because I was like, oh, I'll put that on. Why not? <laughs> it was um, the glasses, the hat, and the dress that would uh, boost in my charisma. Even though the glasses do cover up my eyes quite considerably. They like the um, glasses that uh, 
Kurt Cobain made famous. The big girl, uh, white ones with the the wh big white frames, and they're round as well. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh my god, I really need to sort out my sprinting at some point as well. Invest in uh, endurance. It doesn't hurt to invest in uh, agility either, because there's really, really powerful stuff in the agility uh, line. Like, really powerful stuff. I'd say the best special stats in this game are probably luck, agility, and intelligence. They're the best ones. Right, hopefully this guy's still in the place he usually is. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go around looking for him. Because we can start working on our home base uh, right now. There he is, buddy! I almost completely forgot about you. This is Sheffield. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca-Cola. Oh, it just so happens that I have a new Coca-Cola, good Sheffield. sir. So thirsty. Nuka Cola. Here you are. Here you go. Oh god, that nice camera. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank and Piper you. likes that as well. Yeah. <gasps> oh, what a good time for idiot Savant to kick in. Right, Sheffield. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You you mean it? I do mean it, yes. That's right. Uh, go to Hangman's Alley, my good man. Okay, I'll, I'll do it. Ah, oh, I see. Just do whatever you want. Don't mind me. No, I, I, I guess it looks better without that bandana on. Cause uh, I don't like the way that the uh, bandana clips with, through the glasses either. Plus, uh, we're playing as a pretty girl, right? Let's get a, let's get our face out. Let's get our face out. We're a pretty girl. Um. Diamond City don't make mind you taking this uh, their vegetables either, so I'm gonna take a few of these. And with that corn we picked up as well, we can get our adhesive farm on the go in our, our home base now. Uh, where's the? How'd you get out of this place? Uh, this way. I think. Uh, yeah, this way takes us past the dugout in, and then uh, the entrance is just there. Why is it telling me to go in there? Oh, because of Dr. Crocker. Right, I'm not going to go and see Dr. Crocker. Screw that guy. I forgot to mention something about Hangman's Alley as well. So when we get there, I'll uh, I'll show I'll t I'll show you something else as well. And get your gun out as well, just in case. Don't forget, there's a big uh, bunch of uh, super mutants to the left down here so they don't usually venture out this far but you can never be too careful hopefully Sheffield makes it here so see them you can see them right there they're fighting with someone again I'm willing to bet that they're fighting with cricket this time crickets uh, we've seen cricket wandering around this uh, these parts We'll take them out eventually, just not right now. Not what we're so... Uh, well, we're, we're getting stronger. We are getting stronger, but not strong enough. Now, um, what I forgot to mention, okay? This is chained shut. Um, and this door leads to where we ran down and then we came left and went around the corner. Leave it chained up. Also, there's a door back here that's also locked as well. Don't pick this lock either. That way, if this base ever gets raided, um, there is literally only one way in with this base. And if you don't open up both of those doors, this this little bottleneck here... Piper, were you just fighting? Uh, this little bottleneck here is literally the only way in. So do not pick those locks or unlock that one. It's convenient, and the uh, pop in that lock over there, will uh, Piper will like that as well, but no, we're going to leave it. Um, also, uh, now that we've got a settler here in the form of, uh, of Sheffield, 
I'm going to get him to start working on um, some of the, this food that we just picked up. And get our, our own little adhesive farm going. So if I pop these around here. I might have to start tearing stuff down to make room. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, there's Sheffield. Speak of the devil. Uh, if I rip that down. Good source of rubber here as well. Rubber's really useful for crafting. Pop that in the ground. Right, that's three, right? Three will do. Now three of these. Nice you. And then just three tatoes and do the trick. Nice you, nice you. Okay, Sheffield, where are you, buddy? I want you to work on our food supply. Right, are you are you assigned to all of them? He should be. It should be enough for just him. Yeah, he's got all of them. Excellent. Now, with that said, though. Um, that's going to make uh, it more of a desirable uh, place to attack. Uh, what do I need? I need concrete. I can, surely I can get concrete from around uh, here somewhere. Oh, I know where. I know where. This here. That's plenty of concrete. Right. And this is going to be my water source for the time being. As time goes on, we'll make this into a, a really nice uh, place to live. For the time being, we'll just put down the essentials. Uh, right, you go there. Because I'm likely going to need a drink whenever I come back home. And uh, now uh, we're under threat of attack. Because uh, we've got three water, six food, but no defense. Um, I doubt... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to... Right, we're just going to have to hope that Sheffield can defend the place on his own. Uh, until we can afford to buy, build, uh, uh, build a uh, turret gun. But it should be fine. It should be fine. Right. I'm going to pop some stuff in here. Let's pop... Uh, what do we need immediately? Um, red bandana. That can go away. Okay, cool. And uh, then the rest of the stuff I'm just going to dump in the uh, workshop. Right, I should have quite a bit of junk at this stage. Put all this away. Keep the pretty well money on us. Uh, corn. Glowing fungus. Jet. Mentats. Mute fruit. Uh, right away, can go away. Okay. And then I can also store things in here. I'm going to put all of my aid items in here. I'll put three of them away. I'll carry one on my person for emergencies. Day tripper can go away. Um... What does this do? Resist infection and parasites. I'm going to put that away. Uh, I'm going to put four of these away. We'll just carry five on a person. Put five of them away. I'll only ever carry ten at a time. Okay, now I need somewhere to put my drinks and stuff. And drinks and food. This looks like a good place. Hopefully I've got the uh, fiberglass for this. Oh, I do. Fantastic. This is where my drinks and my food are going to go. Right on top of this fridge. Um, so that can go in there. Okay, good stuff. Right. I've got the right gear on, haven't I? I've got the right gear on. I think we're good uh, inventory-wise. Yes, I can. I need to store these uh, 45s. I'm collecting them, but I don't need them right now. I'm gonna need them in the future, though. Right, drop a quick save. And I'm hungry. That's fine. Uh, aid. Let's eat. Uh, let's eat this noodle cup. 
Properly hydrated. Dang it. Um, grilled radroach then. Properly fed. Cool. All right, let's uh, keep on keeping on. Because now what we're going to do, we're going to crack on with uh, confidence, man. And uh, like I said earlier, on the way, we got something to turn in as well. Which will give us another settlement, actually. Right. This could have um, renewed some danger. It does take things a lot longer to respawn in survival. Um, but I see trouble on this in this area of the map almost all the time, even on survival. There's new stuff around. At the moment there was uh, dead raiders from the last uh, the last uh, danger that spawned in. But like I say, I often see trouble around there often, even on survival mode. There's almost there's almost every time I pass there, almost something new every time. Or almost every time. We haven't had the event happen yet either, but there's also another point of interest between here and Oberlin Station. But you need the event to happen first. And uh, I haven't seen it happen yet. But um, it could happen. It could happen. any Anytime. So we've got to keep our eyes peeled for it. But there's a location around here that only turns up after an event happens. Hey, what's happening? Guess what? I cleared out those raiders for you. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? I did. Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the You're way, welcome. We've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. Fantastic. Preston's going to be thrilled. Oh, I leveled as well, didn't I? I'm sitting on a leveler. I do that all the time, right? I do that way too much. Um, Oh, no. Fallout! Unbelievable. You can't be doing this on survival Fallout. Hmm. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, that's Bon Jovi music as well. I'm gonna be back at it's a good thing I dropped the save in Hangman's Alley. Oh. Alright, it that could have been so much worse than what it was. So much worse. Uh what am I hungry, right? Uh, eat the grilled red roach. Don't eat the noodles this time. I'll lose my, uh, uh, my thing. I'll just eat that. Whatever. I'll lose my parched is what I was thinking of. Oh, if that happens in the future, after, like, I don't know, an hour or two of being out adventuring and wandering around doing quests and, and gathering and... And then that just happens. Oh, that's gonna that's gonna be heartbreaking. That's gonna be a fuck it all moment. That is unbelievable. At least at least it wasn't too bad though. It could have been so much worse. So much worse. I swear I just heard something. Like something gigantic moving around. And dead cow. Have you got any beef on you, cow? You do. Fantastic. Oh, I'm in caution. Why am I in caution? Oh, ghouls. Oh, that's fine. It's only ghouls. Uh, or maybe just one ghoul, I guess. All right, fine. Weird. A little strange for one ghoul to be uh, wandering around by itself. I'll take that. Th 
this is the area that I was referring to earlier. The event hasn't happened yet, so this area here will change later on when uh, a certain event happens. I don't know what triggers it. I don't think it's level locked. It might be uh, due to your location. I don't know. Because I always seem to see it happen at the same location. Did you have any luck with those raiders? I did. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way. There we go. We've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. Now, this is my settlement, man. another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. It would have been nice if uh, Idiot's Vaughn kicked in then, but, you know, whatever. It's fine. Can I sleep in these beds now? Oh, I can. Right, drop a quick save. Because you know what this game can be like. And then uh, where we want to go next is there. That's Beantown Brewery. It's the next part of this... Uh, next part of Confidence Man. With, uh, with Travis. Well, apart from that little uh, blip where the... I think it's just the wind. I think it's just the wind. Uh, that little blip where uh, Fallout kind of shatters his pants briefly. Uh, this has been going swimmingly. Unlike earlier with those bloody bears. Hey, Travis. Thank God. You're here. So this is it. Odds are if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Uh, stay cool. Be cool. Be cool, Travis. Don't panic. Be cool. Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. And we'll all walk out of this in one piece. Pipe it like that uh, as well. Any last minute advice? Uh, I've never done anything like this. Stay behind me. <laughs> uh, stay calm. Just stay calm. Don't go crazy in there. Be cool. Right. Calm. I can do. Calm. I like his jacket. Calm, 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 calm. <laughs> come, come, okay. come, 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 come. Can we just get in there before I totally lose my nerve? I like his jacket. His jacket's cool. Let me say that much. This place here is like an old brewery. So it's an excellent place to pick up empty bottles if you need to make uh, purified water. Alright. Be I wonder what that was then. It's bloody Travis walking near me. Be careful of these... Travis! Travis, buddy! Dude! Flip out the way! Oh my god, this is your fault. Travis! Oh my god, do you know what? Usually, when he asks for extra advice, I usually tell him to stay behind me. I didn't know that it literally makes a dif difference. I wish I told him to stay behind me now. That's what I usually say. Uh, be wary of these monkeys as well, okay? They will uh, they will go off and break your stealth. So uh, get rid of them. I can't believe Travis. Travis just walking right out in front of me then when I was trying to stealth kill this guy when he sl while he slept. I should have I told him to stay behind me, shouldn't I? Oh well. It's too late now. It's too late now. Also, uh, these guys were playing bowling here as well. Uh, How do you do the physics grab? I forget. Is it... Ah, there we go. So you can... Uh... Oh. Oh, I completely missed. Alright, fine. Let's try again. Ready? I know how to do this. Piper. Piper. Do you mind? I'm trying to play bowling here, Piper. Ready? And... Yeah. Strike! Yay! Alright, cool. Anyway, enough bowling. Let's get back to the task at hand. Right, be, uh, be careful as well. This place can be dangerous. It's full of raiders. And technically, again, it's not some way where you have to kill everyone in inside here. But we're gonna uh, we're gonna go looking around quite uh, extensively in here. Right, I should have taken the shot there. Maybe Old Faithful would be the way forward for this. Can I get a good shot on you? I don't have a critical in hand, unfortunately. Okay. We 
wearing caution right now. Oh fuck. I wasn't expecting that. Whoa! Whoa, Travis! Travis, you badass! Oh my god. Travis, you've done this before, haven't you, dude? Look at this, he's just slamming this guy on the ground! You don't even need me here, do you, Travis? You could do this all by your onesie. It did fuck up my shot on his head, but still, that's impressive. No, I'm missing now. Travis is a beast! Travis is an absolute beast! Oh my god! Travis can do this all by himself. Oh, it's Butch! A uh, bull, even. He's just... He's just unarmed. Just punching Piper in the back of the head. Stop punching Piper, dude. It's not very nice. This is all kinds of weird. Okay. Uh, take the crit. Just to get him down. Leave the Molotovs. I'm... So tempted to pick them up, but just leave them alone. Okay. Right, there's traps here as well, so be really, really careful of those as well. They'll be like trip wires and and stuff. Hello. Ah, uh, that's not a great shot, but you never know. No, we missed. Oh, he's healing! No honor! No honor! He's healing! Travis went down briefly. Piper's not down, is she? No. Oh, God. He's right there. Headshot! Tower Tom. Remember that name, Tower Tom, actually. It might pop up again. Ooh. Um, that's got a 308 mod on it. I'm going to take it anyway. This is quite a powerful gun. Uh, hold on, Vadim. I'll be with you in a second, buddy. Uh, picket fences. Uh, you are now able to build picket fencing at settlement workshops. Um, that's literally, um, the picket fencing that we used to barric barricade sanctuary, um, a long time ago. Now I can build that myself. That's the magazine that gives you that. Ooh, pocketed painted metal left leg. What have I got on my left? I know it's pocketed on my left, I think. Uh, lightweight metal left. Oh my god, that's so much better. I'm going to take that and put that one away. Oh, now I've got four pieces of pocketed. Amazing. Alright, cool. What else was in here? That was it, right? Um, Expert. Bloody hell. Right, Gwyneth Brew Recipe, take that, okay, that's going to be quite important later on. Are you alright there, Piper? Looks like she was busting for a pee. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't going to leave you to these guys. You are good, boy. Piper admires you. We might actually have the next stage of dialogue with Piper at that, if that's the case. They, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Uh, nice, thanks, Vadim. I am surprised. Ooh, this is a uh, novice lock. Maybe I can get in the uh, get in the safe if I actually manage to unlock this pile. Uh, it's not going to be team, right? Late. Could be late. Ooh. Chances are they just got an E on the end then. Oh, it's not going to be male. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I reckon it's got an E on the end, mate. Guess it could be. Dang it. Do you know what? Forget it. I've had enough of hacking already. Did you want to talk, Piper? Hey, we're one of the way. Piper, you really do have a talent for finding trouble, don't you? Yeah, she do. I suppose so. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. <laughs> In my line of work, things. <laughs> See ya, Vadim! <laughs> Off he goes. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the. Hey, Travis, come back here. Piper suite. Hold that thought, Piper. Hold that thought. Two seconds. <clears throat> I want to speak hey. to Travis before he leaves. What a day, huh? Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. You're this welcome. Been, well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. Good to hear. You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. Pretty well? I barely recognize you, Travis. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems silly, you know? Like, <laughs> was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing. I don't know why my head just swang around shot into shot then. It was a little weird. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. You're welcome, dude. Also, nice jacket. Hey. Right, now we can talk, Piper. For finding trouble, don't you? I do. I suppose so. Hey, I'm not one to judge. Honestly, it's just nice to not be doing it alone for a change. In my line of work, things tend to get pretty hairy. I've been shot at, poisoned, nearly executed. Heck, until recently, they called the lockup in Diamond City the Piper Suite. Anything for a story, I suppose. Um, poisoned? Someone poisoned you? You kidding me? I barely had the paper going before I got poisoned. First time. I just published an article about this cartel of caravans that have been driving up food prices in the city. Article went over well, even got a boycott of their goods started in town, so I figured I'd pop over to the dugout inn for a victory drink. I'd already taken a swig by the time I realized something was wrong. The Dean, he wasn't at the bar. The beer tasted off, even more so than usual. And I started feeling real woozy. I don't know what he slipped me, but I knew I had to get it out. I'm looking around for something, and there it is. The still, and I just start chugging moonshine. Honestly, I'm still not totally convinced it was better than just dying from the poison, but it worked. <laughs> Gross. And while I was passed out on the floor, security managed to grab the bartender. He eventually ratted out his bosses, and they all got to share some time in the pen. <laughs> Piper admire you. Now kiss. <laughs> uh, you need to get a little bit more than uh, just admired until you get to the last stage with Piper. But um, you can you can get you can romance uh, multiple companions in this, and none of them care. None of them care uh, at all. Uh, exciting life. Ooh, you've led an exciting life. Sure have. You can be like a serial a serial yeah, data. And none yeah, of them care. None started. of them care at all. Get in trouble. It's what folks like us do. I mean, you and I are. I do like Piper though. Piper's putting cool. Putting ourselves at risk. So She's a cool character. Commonwealth can have a chance at a better life, not for praise or reward or glory, but because it's right. We're making we a uh, really fast progress with her as well. Know. Problem is though, once we're done with her, and we've got her perk. Oh, here we go. Speaking of. Oh shit, I haven't got my I haven't got my um my charisma gear on. Oh, I hope this works. Right, let's go for it. I got pretty high charisma without it. My charisma's like what? It's plus four um with my gear on. So my charisma's six anyway. I wouldn't want it any other way. I like having you close. Oh yes. Uh, thanks, Blue. That's that's awfully sweet. And unexpected of you. So you want to get out of here? <laughs> hey, what, what, what you mean get out of here? What are you suggesting, Piper? 
Oh, before we do anything, right, but this is a there's a good chance we might die shortly, so drop an autosave with our old trek. Back in straight out. So no time passes. Because we uh we're not done in this area. Okay, we're gonna go upstairs. And there's more trouble upstairs. I don't know how they didn't notice what was going on downstairs. It was a big firefight and a shootout, but can I get you through the wall? Nope. Okay. I guess that hole doesn't actually exist. Oh. Oh. Hello. Oh, he fell down the stairs. I shot him in his legs and he flew down the stairs. That's funny. Well, that was easier than expected. These guys have Molotovs. That was what was uh, concerning me big time. Because, uh, you know, let's say it together. We all know about Molotovs and what they do to me. They fuck me right up. Ooh, some duct tape. I'll take duct tape. Uh, give me a Braxo will do. I'll take the Rat Poison. I don't know what it actually gives you. I can't remember. So I'll take it. Um, dog food. Okay, we're good. I assume. Oh, nice. A lock as well. Piper likes it when we pick locks, so. That's even more going towards uh, Piper. Uh, Piper's affinity. By the time we've done all of the quests that we picked up in Diamond Sweet. City as well, that should be uh, another uh, another milestone with Piper, perhaps. Uh, okay, Rad Roaches. I'm not using my 10 millimeter. That's a waste. I think there's a couple in here. There might be another one in addition to this guy. Or maybe not. Okay, cool. Uh, this axe is like the kind of Skyrim door as well. If you fall through the hole in the floor, uh, you end up back uh, where you came in. There's nothing hugely important up here, but uh, I always like to go up here and, and kill those extra raiders and, uh, and have a wander around up here. And I think we're good, so let's just leave. We're right back at the start. <laughs> nice. Yeah, my charisma is pretty high on its own. Let me double check to make absolute certain. Yeah, I'm on charisma 6 without any gear. With the gear then, it's maxed up at 10. <coughs> Even at 10 though, I don't think it's guaranteed to pass uh, red speech, speech checks. I just think you have just like a really good chance. I'm not sure if it's guaranteed. <coughs> Maybe if you um, boost your charisma above 10, maybe then it's guaranteed, but so you, you can get your charisma crazy high with um, uh, gear. If, if you've got 10 naturally, and then you put gear on top of that, and um, drinks, food, that sort of thing, you can uh, get your charisma pretty, pretty damn high. Because it's not capped in this game, of course. Right, I should have really slept and dropped an auto save. I thought, no, it's fine. It's only down the road. We're only going to Hangman's Alley. But I should always drop an auto save if it's available. Just for safety. You know? You never know. Oh, hello. Oh, it's Harberry. Cool. Cool. I wonder where they came from. And what killed them as well? She'd already looted that, uh, that cow. No offense, but it was a cow. Okay, I think this place is going to be relatively quiet for some time. Oh, oh, no, I said that. I said that too soon. We got ghouls. Ghouls aren't too much of an issue right now, though. They really nerfed ghouls in Fallout 4, though. 
In Fallout 3, in Fallout 3 especially, Feral Ghoul Reavers were some of the worst, most toughest enemies in the entire game. Reavers in Fallout 4 are not that big of a deal. They really, really got nerfed. Thing is, though, in Fallout 4, um, ghouls are much more... They're much faster and much more sporadic. So maybe that's why they got a nerf. Maybe if they were uh, just as tough as they used to be, they would be too much because of their movement speed and how sporadic they are. I don't know. But they're nowhere near as bad as they used to be. Remember the first time I came across a Reaver in this game and I was like, oh no. And then killed it, like, pretty easily and pretty comfortably and I was like, oh, alright. Reavers are supposed to be, uh, really tough, right? Okay, we are still parched. Um, I'm gonna drink, though, because I'm gonna have, uh, a quick rest. Hey, bye there. Um, can I build a- can I build a turret gun at this point? I doubt it. I don't think I picked up, uh, enough stuff. We're missing circuitry. That's all we're missing. That's a shame. Okay, let's dump a bunch of stuff in here. Uh, Braxo cleaner, aluminium can. What can- what contains circuitry? I don't know off the top of my head. And, uh... Hmm. Let's go over to... Brahmin meat. Buff out. That can go away. Jet. Um... Radarage meat. Tarberry. Good, good, good. I'm going to cook up that Brahmin meat right now, though. Anything else that I might be able to as well. Uh, there we go. Ribeye. And two of them. Nice, you. And uh, I guess we'll sleep. We'll rest until morning, right? We'll rest until morning because the sun's going down. It's starting to get dark. What time is it, actually? Yeah, it's, it's, it's 8 p.m. Um, I'm going to get 12 hours down. Just to rest until morning. Ho? Oh, shit. Can't sleep more than five hours on a dirty mattress. I forgot about that. I need to build, build a proper bed. Uh, can I make one now? If I got enough material? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna make... This is gonna be my bed. And this can be, uh... This can be... Ah, wrong button. This can be Sheffield's bed, okay? Sheffield, you're gonna sleep... Oh, you've already got a bed. Alright, let's put it in here for the time being. And I'll store it later. I'm gonna build myself my own bed, though. Are you are you literally sleeping on that mattress there? You are as well. Fantastic. Whoa, what was that? What was that? Oh well, never mind. Whoa. Okay. Trouble. What are you doing here? You bastard! Whoa! Where the flip did they come from? Have we got any other trouble? We're not under attack right now, are we? Jeebus! Wow, okay. That raider come out of nowhere. Right. Back to building my bed. And I'm going to give myself a nice bed as well so we can get a proper night's rest. There we go. And uh, what time is it now? Get um, get seven hours. That radio come from nowhere. 
sneaky raider. Hold up. We got trouble. I... Wait. We got trouble. Excuse me! This is my home! I really need to get some circuitry, right? Make that, um... Make that turret gun. It's already got trouble. I've already got raiders uh, giving us grief. It's weird though, it doesn't say we're under attack. Because it would come up as a miscellaneous uh, task. If you were under attack. I guess they're just randomly strolling in here. We need to get, we need to get turrets. We need to get turrets as soon as possible. I need to find uh, some circuitry. I make a bunch of turrets. Dang it. All right. All right, on that note, right, let me drop another quick auto save. Just while there's no raiders around. There we go. No time passes. Okay. All right then, gang. I'm going to call it there for tonight then, I think. And uh, we'll crack on uh, with some stuff next week. But um, we've, been, we've come on a long way. Uh, sanctuary's looking kind of nice now. We've done a little bit of work to Sanctuary. Picked up a whole bunch of new settlements along our route down towards Diamond City. We've got our main base now. It may not look like much yet, but as time goes on, we're going to... Uh, this will come on leaps and bounds as time goes on. Uh, I pick Hangman's Alley as my main base of operation because it's nice and central. you know. And there's a couple of other reasons that we'll get into as time goes on as well without uh, jumping too far ahead of ourselves. I think uh, next week, uh, next week we will look to uh, get the perks that we need to start linking all of our settlements. And uh, what, are, what are the things that we've got to do? Um, I'm not going to go for curtain call just yet. That could be quite tough. Um, so we'll wait until we're a little bit more powerful. I think what we'll do is we'll keep on helping out the people of uh, uh, of Diamond City. Um, we can help out Mo by getting him these uh, baseball uh, memorabilia. Um, we can get the paint for the wall. Um, and uh, yeah, we might even we might even make contact with the Brotherhood uh, next week. Uh, we might even make first contact with the Brotherhood, uh, which could be quite exciting. So, um, yeah, we'll, uh, Fallout Friday's back in full swing now. And uh, we're starting to get places now. We're starting to get places. I know we had a bit of a sketchy moment with those bears. Uh, it took me a while to get past those bears. But um, we're making progress. We're making progress. <laughs> Banana, good night, mate. Good night to you as well, buddy. Good night to you as well. Uh, right, okay. Uh... Thank <laughs> you.